Hi, my name is Sally Harold. I'm Director of Migratory Fish Projects for the Connecticut Chapter of the Nature Conservancy. I'm here on the Aspatuck River today with John Herlihy. I'm John Herlihy from the Quaron Water Company. Together we've been working on a project to help eel get out of this river system safely so that they can spawn in the Sargasso Sea. It's an important project because eel throughout their range are in a state of decline. So we're trying to help the population here in eastern Connecticut. And what we're doing here today is releasing eels that have been tagged so that we can uh, study their behavior in the river and in the reservoir. These eel came from the Connecticut River. They were caught last night. So there's a, a tag that's about the size of a large jelly bean that has a little piece of monofilament that's the antenna. And those were surgically implanted in these eel last night. We're about to release uh, 10 eels into the Aspetuck River and then we are going to determine if they're able to get over the dam or if they can go through the siphon or if we're going to uh, if they're going to pass into the Hemlocks Reservoir. Behind me is the Aspetuck Dam, and if the eels can pass over that when there's enough flow, they can safely continue down the Aspetuck River out to Long Island Sound to complete their migration to spawn. The other way out is directly below us. There's a seven-foot pipe that leads down to the Hemlocks Reservoir, which is a dead end for their migration. And then the third option, which Brand has installed, is a six-inch plastic siphon that supplies the flowing water that needs to attract the eels downstream. This is a siphon that's been set up so that it provides an inlet for the eels. It's in what we're calling a dark corner of the, uh, the dam where we've created a plywood background where the lights do not shine. The lights then would then move the eels towards the dark corner through the suction side of the siphon. The siphon then runs water over the dam. The idea being is that the eels would enter the siphon uh, over the dam and then be released below the dam. We have an eel trap below the, the dam and we're Working along with our partners, we are counting eels as they move from through the siphon into the lower part of the uh, Aspetuck Dam, and then they will be released from that location into the Aspetuck River. We're using a technique called radio telemetry to see if the eels pass through each one of those. So the eels have been surgically implanted inside them a little tag that emits a certain frequency unique to that eel. Now, each time it were to pass through one of our checkpoints, which is covered by the radio antenna, it'll get detected by our receivers. So now, each time an eel goes through, we know which route they took in or out of the reservoir. This is a site without uh, power, city-supplied power. So in order to operate the lights that it pre previously described, we've had to uh, bring in some green energy technology. And uh, behind me is a 1KW wind turbine that will uh, provide power to a battery pack that will operate these lights that have been previously described. We also have, as a, in addition to the wind application, a solar application, solar panels that also provide power to that same battery pack. So we're really pleased with this project because the Nature Conservancy is looking at protecting biodiversity and the eel represent a very important food link in both our saltwater systems and in the freshwater system. We also work and worry about the needs of people. So this is a perfect opportunity to work with a water supply company, Aquarian Water Company, and think about how we can work together to protect this important link in our food chain, an important element of the biodiversity in this system and in many systems uh, across the United States. And for Aquarian, it's an opportunity to improve our environmental sustainability of our operations. So we're looking into a broad spectrum of opportunities, including green power with hydro turbines, fuel cells, wind power, and solar, reduction in the amount of fuel we're using. On the natural resource management side, we're working with the Nature Conservancy to increase the number of eels that get around our dams and back out to the salt water so that they can spawn and increase their numbers in the environment. Oh,